Hello everyone, Resented here in Crypt of the Necrodancer, and I'm here today showcasing the second video of my video tutorials on all the items currently in the game. Please note that this version of the game may not have as many items as later versions, and I'll update my videos as needed, but for now, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to be covering the Broadsword, a really nice weapon that has a wider reach than the dagger and can hit multiple enemies at once, making it easy to take out more than one enemy at a time, as well as pulling off some tactics to not get hit by certain enemies. The attack of the Broadsword hits the square in front of the direction you designate, as well as the two diagonals on either side of that direction. The wide reach allows you to hit enemies that are not lined up with you, such as standing diagonally away from an armadillo, or an enemy that moves every beat but is directly diagonal to you, because in the latter case, you'd have to dig buffer to line up the enemy if you had the dagger. Special cases involving the broadsword include the blue slime, yellow slime, armadillo, and every enemy that can move once every beat, like a wraith, monkey, or horse skeleton. For blue slimes, they already have little strategy needed to kill them, but the strategy is non-existent with the broadsword. If you move to any square directly to the left or right of its attack pattern, you can hit it twice with the broadsword, even if the slime moves after you attack it once. For yellow slimes, you typically have to line up with it directly to hit it with the dagger, which in some cases would require you to dig buffer, but with the broadsword, as long as you keep on the very outside of its attack pattern and move around it, you'll eventually line up and be able to hit it, even if it's to a diagonal with you and you'd be unable to hit it if you had the dagger. For armadillos, they typically aggro as you went to any square orthogonal to them, but with the broadsword you can attack them diagonally, essentially being able to kill them without ever making them charge at you. For any enemy that moves once per beat, you can move towards them and see how many spaces are between you. If the amount of spaces between you is even, you can advance towards the enemy until they are directly in front of you and then hit them. But if there is an odd amount of spaces between you, you cannot move towards them without getting hit, but with the broadsword you can move to any square 90 degrees to the direction that the enemy will move, and this takes them diagonally to you and you can hit them safely thanks to your wide reach. Be very careful because even though the broadsword's reach can really help you, it can really hurt you as well. In some cases, if you're getting surrounded, you can mean to move in a direction to only hit an enemy diagonal that you weren't paying attention to. If this happens, you waste the beat by not moving, allowing all other enemies to surround you more. You can't become a Necrodancer master by just watching videos though. A big portion of learning is actually playing the game and memorizing patterns to exploit, and with practice, you can kill any monster with any weapon. And that concludes this video on the broadsword. Please show your support by liking, commenting, subscribing, anything to show appreciation, and I'll see you in the next video.